Have you found yourself at any point during these last few weeks paralyzed because you don't know quite what to do? Maybe part of you tells you, I don't need to stockpile any more food. But then another part of you says, everyone around me is stockpiling food, I should too. Part of you says, I should listen to this news source. And another part of you says, I should be listening to this news source that's saying maybe very different things. Part of you says, I should tell my kids more about the pandemic so that they can be safe. But then another part of you says, I shouldn't be telling my kids anything more, otherwise they're gonna become terrified. Part of you is saying, I think this is what I should be doing right now. And the other part of you says, I have no idea what to do in a time like this. How can we know what the right thing to do is? How can we know what's safe? How can we know that we're on the right path? We can work ourselves into a panic because in this internet age, everyone seems to be having an opinion. Everyone says that they know what the right course of action is. And oftentimes, no one seems to be on the same page about what the right course of action is. Is there a right path anywhere? A road I can take where I know that I'm on the right path. We've been exploring the words of the warrior king, David. And if you remember, before he was a king, David was a shepherd. And one of the things that shepherds did was they would guide their sheep from one pasture to another or from the pastures down into a water where they could drink or then back up from those waters up to the pastures. And in the craggy and hilly and oftentimes mountainous land of Israel, the shepherd needed to know what the right path was to keep his sheep safe. King David in Psalm 23 he says that God is the perfect shepherd who guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Older translations have the line, he guides me down paths of righteousness, which is a fine translation too, as long as the point isn't lost. God guides us down the right path, not the wrong path. And what's the right path like? First, it's a path where our status before God isn't determined by getting everything right on our own. Uh, in these times that we find ourselves, we're going to make lots of mistakes. Some of them will be accidental, but some of them will be because our own sinful nature wants to go down the wrong path. And if our salvation was based on us always making the right choices, we'd be in big trouble. Instead, our good shepherd God died for all of our sins, for giving us fully all on the cross, so that when we do make the wrong choices, he's right there with his forgiveness. Second, the good shepherd's path is a path where he leads us. He's the one that will bring us to safety, to the safety of heaven and eternal security. He's paved the way with his blood and he invites us to follow him. And if we realize that God himself is leading us through life with his cross towards heaven, then we know that there's absolutely nothing to fear. We can let go of needing to make perfect decisions in this mess of a pandemic. God tells us to make the best choice that we can, confess when we've screwed things up, and then just trust him that he'll never leave us or forsake us and that he's leading us right down the right path to heaven. So here's an exercise that can help daily remind us that we're on this right path through Jesus. Start the day off with a simple prayer. For the first part of the prayer, there's three parts to it. And part number one, thank God for your baptism where he made you his sheep. Then part two, thank God for taking care of you right now as your good shepherd. And then part three, then ask God or thank God that he's leading you towards heaven. This simple prayer that looks to the past and the present and the future reminds us that we've got a God that's guiding us along the right paths for his name's sake. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for making me your precious child and one of your sheep through my baptism. I thank you that you right now are leading me, your precious child and sheep, down the right path, and so I have nothing to fear. And I thank you that the path leads to heaven, to eternity with you, my risen living Lord. Amen.